Hi, I'm Rocky Bernstein. I'm going to demonstrate a VS Code extension that I'm working on for Solidity programs. The main focus of this extension is to show how we can get accurate information, including type and grammar information, by using Solstice AST. None of the existing VS Code Solidity extensions make use of the Solidity compiler and its abstract syntax tree in its current form, as I'm going to show today. I'm making use of, a, of new error recovery changes that went into Solidity 0.5.10. More work was done in 0.5.11, but alas, that has some problems in it. Hopefully, we will remove the problems by the next release. Many thanks to the Solidity folks for allowing these changes to, to go through. When I um, highlight an A here, we can see that, oh, uh, well, we see here that all A's are highlighted. There's another way, I think, to do it by, um, uh, let's see, if I think if I just do map. Yeah, okay. So now I have just the word A's highlighted. Uh, but even still, I mean, that's better than having all A's hi highlighted. But notice that we have A's in comments, like up here, as well as in functions that are out of scope and in the comments of the functions that are out of scope. Suppose we just want the A's that are in scope. Uh, so for that, I can use find all references, which is an L a Microsoft language server protocol function or LSP function. It's the thing that specifies that there should be a find all references. So here we go, find all references. And now in brown, you see that we I just have the three that are in scope and they're also listed here in, in list form. Uh, oh, notice that I don't have the function definition. So if I want that, I can use another LSP function, go to definition, go to definition. And there I'm at the definition. Okay, uh, as you probably, uh, well, okay, let me, let me try something that was for local, local scope. Let me try something for global scope or, or contract level scope. So if I do find all references of error mul, uh, error mul overflow, well, we just have that one. That's not very interesting. This one here, uh, find all references. There, there are two. So we have that one there, and then we have this one at the very bottom. And you can see that we're skipping around using the list to skip around. Pro as you probably noticed, when I hover over a, something like A, uh, I'm getting its AST node name. In this case, A is a, is a kind of identifier. And below that, we see the type des description, which is uint256. And that's kind of interesting because uh, it's a little different than what it was declared at. Re recall it was defined here. And this is a UN256. So that just so internally, for this version of Solidity, uh, UNs are the same thing as UN256, and we can also see that when we look at uh, uh, error mul overflow. Its type description is string me memory, but when we go up here, you can see it was just declared as string private constant. So uh, just different views, I guess. Okay. Uh, this particular file doesn't have any imports, but we track information through imports. So let me switch to another contract and show that we can handle that too. So here, uh, right, here's the relative import. And if I hover over C, so it, it notices that this is that C is really library convert, which you saw above. And if I hover over convert, we're getting the function signature, even though that function signature is not in this file. So there's, there's also a, another, uh, this is a VS Code function called peak references. And so, here we're getting uh, some context. That we're getting convert 
highlighted. Uh, that's peak references. I, I actually I want convert. I want uh, peak definition. There we go. Okay, so so now I'm getting the the where this is defined, highlighted, and so a little bit of context. Oh, and the thing to note here is that this is coming from convertlive.sol, and I don't know if you can see this, but this is in temp demo examples. So again, we're we're tracking this across uh, fi uh, files other than this one. Okay. So we just handle the relative import, but we can also track references over NPM mo modules, like you find with Open Zeppelin. So let me show that. So I'll come here, and this is my Open Zeppelin. And the thing to note here is that this is a Truffle project. We handle Truffle projects as well. So in contracts, ERC20. And when I hover over Mint, Mint is actually coming from this Open Zeppelin contracts ERC and now I think I'm going to use go to definition uh, to get more information about that and now what what happened here is th uh, that file wasn't already loaded into the editor so uh, we loaded it and here we are at the at the definition this is the end of part one there are other videos showing error recovery, AST tree navigation, command completion, and auto documentation. Thanks for watching.